Okay, here we are with arc length and sector of an area. Here's a problem that's similar to an IB question. We're given this circle with radius R and the center is O. DOM is theta. The arc length DM is 20 over 3 centimeters. And the area of the sector, so the whole sector here, is 80 over 9 centimeters squared. Find the values of R and theta. Two variables we have to find there, there, Mr. Cole. So what do we have? To, what do we have to do then? If we have two variables, well, we're going to need two equations, I think. All right, and we're given the length of the arc and the area of a sector, and this is from our formula booklet. Okay, so those are both given in terms of radians. So we need to make sure our calculator is in radians. Yes, radians. All right, so I know my arc length is told to be 20 over 3. And that is our theta. Okay. And similarly, what do I know? Okay, so we've got we've got the area is 80 over 9. And so that's got to be a half theta r squared. So here are my two equations with two unknowns. Let's. Uh, are we going to do the substitution or? Let's do a substitution. Let's solve for theta here. It doesn't really matter which one we solve for. I'll solve for theta here, so then I know I divide both sides by r, or multiply. Here's a better way of thinking of it. I'm going to multiply both sides by 1 over r, so that these r's cancel. And I get 20 over 3r. And I'm going to take that and plug it in for theta here. So I get 80 over 9 is equal to half, and well, here's my theta, 20 over 3r, r squared. Okay, we can do a little bit of cancelling there. Yeah, let's cancel away our r's here with this yep. one. And half and 20. Oh, this, make that a 10. Okay. Okay, so I have 80 over 9 is 10 over 3r. And so solving now, I'm going to multiply both sides by 3 times both sides by 3, which those okay. cancel. That becomes a 3, and then divide by 10. And so r then is, uh, what is that, 8 thirds? 8 thirds centimeters. So there's r. Now that we have r, finding theta, we can just okay. take this equation here, plug in r. So you can take any of those equations with, with theta and r in them, right? Yep, any one works. We could do this one, or we could do that one, doesn't matter. So if I do this one, I go 20 over 3 times 8 thirds. Ah, this one works out nicely. It does. It's almost like it was made to work out nicely. <laughs> <laughs> Equals 20 over 8. Those both divide by 4, I get 5 over 2 equal to theta. Okay, so the key to this problem is you have two pieces of information, arc length and the area, two variables that you don't know. So you get two variables, two equations, and then use simultaneous equation methods.